You're listening to the A to Z English podcast. Welcome to the A to Z English podcast. My name is Jack, and today I'm here with my co-host Social. And Social, what are your when you fly somewhere? What are your necessities? Like, what are your travel necessities? What must you have when you get on that plane to make the 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 trip the, the most comfortable it can be? Um, you know, Jack, I'm kind of like just a suffer through the flight kind of person. I'm not really picky about my trip. Um, but I guess a couple things I absolutely have to have are a cell phone, obviously, for mm -hmm. entertainment purposes. Um, my earphones so I can listen to music or whatever. And uh a book or like my laptop to so I can read or just do some work or like something while I'm on the plane. And um, I always take try to take something to cover up like a, a hoodie, a jacket, a shrug, because it gets really cold on the airplane. And um, I remember this one time I was like, I traveled in a t-shirt and I was absolutely freezing my arms off. Um, yes. And I was, I was dying. It was so cold. <laughs> and yeah. I asked the lady, hey, you know, can I can I get a blanket because they give us on planes? And she said, no, that's only for first class. And there were literally no passengers like on this plane. It was just like me and like two other people. I don't know why there were so few people, but they wouldn't give me a blanket. Um, which is just I, you know, I don't really like the whole first class distinction anyway. It's just so stupid. Yeah. And um, that jerk behavior made me like, it just made me so mad, but I was like, I'll never get on an airplane without something to cover up with because I was literally so cold. I had to put my arms inside my shirt because I just couldn't handle how. Yeah, I was going to ask you, did you do the old uh, inside the shirt uh, move? Because that's pretty much all you could do at that point. Otherwise, you're just going to be so uncomfortable. Yeah, it was bad. Like my fingers were like stiff from how cold it was. Wow. Yeah, that's terrible. And I can't believe they wouldn't give you a blanket. That's I know. Nuts. You throw these out anyway. Come on, just give me one or whatever. I think like, I've taken, I've stolen like 20 of them by now, you know? I know. A I lot of them all over my house. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's crazy. Airlines that get cheaper and cheaper every, like the flight gets more and more expensive, but the airline itself cuts costs every possible way every yeah, year. Yeah, the, the seats get closer together and just slowly all this stuff is That's happening. Freebies, and, yeah. yep. Um, <laughs> my travel necessity is the same. I, I have to have a hoodie. Like I always travel with a hoodie no matter what. Um, because like you said, if you get cold, I just throw the hoodie up over my, my head and cinch it down and just kind of disappear into my clothes. I don't, does that make sense? It's yes, like, it does. It's like a shield, you know, it's like, I don't want to deal with, I, I, I don't want to be sitting next to somebody. Um, I'm already cramped in there. Um, I have to have my phone. I have to have headphones. Um, because I you I will listen to podcasts. That's my you know as a podcaster, I'm also a huge podcast fan. I probably listen to fifteen or twenty different podcasts, a lot of true crime, and so I'll have a whole bunch queued up for a flight, and I'll kind of listen to them throughout the flight at certain times to just kind of kill that you know because I'm usually flying fifteen sixteen hour flights right. Um, I'm going back to America from South Korea, which is on the other side of the of the earth. Um, right. So it's really a long flight. And you, I need those little treats, that little podcast episode in here and there to to keep me uh, sane. Um, I also will bring a neck pillow. Um, I find that uh, because otherwise your head is kind of is not uh, it's kind of like a bobblehead. Your your head is kind of loosey goosey. Um, so when you fall asleep sitting up, your head will kind of like your neck will kind of like snap, you know, one side or the other. 
but a neck pillow will keep your your neck stationary so you can actually sleep with your your you could sleep sitting up and so i think the neck pillow is a really is a really a big one for me so neck pillow electronic device i usually don't mess with my computer because i'm too tall and there's no way i can get my computer on my lap and comfortably use my computer so Why don't you just put it on the tray table in front of you? because because my knees are so high that i can't get the tray table to go flat Right, because you're like six, like, i'm six eight well yeah. i i shrunk i'm six seven i just got measured and now i'm i'm shorter than i was uh before That's insanely tall anyway, six, yeah seven six is seven is still a, i'm still a giant so i can't even get the tray and if somebody moves their chair back in front of me forget about it they're gonna break my computer you know it'll get like yeah. smashed like a like a sandwich so um yeah i mean those are th those are my those are my big ones you know i i got to have uh i got to have a, an electronic device to play with and i've got to have my neck pillow and my hoodie and uh comfortable shoes that can be slipped off and on easily you know no boots i would never do that on a flight um i don't know well, how do you feel about taking shoes off on a flight are you anti that or It's like I would if it weren't I would if it weren't like I don't agree with doing it but I wish like I kind of wish I could I don't know how to s explain this it's like I feel really um like ah oh god how do I like impolite or or like bad yeah, like, like it, I would feel like such like a like a jerk and it would be gross like to to just like have my feet out but if it were for my own comfort i would definitely like take my shoes off and then just like cross my feet if there's no one else like next to me in any of the seats then i do like i sometimes will take my shoes off and just like cross my feet and cross my legs yeah i would never put my feet up on anything with my with my socks or anything like that or god forbid my bare feet you know that i mean oh, that's God, no. There That's are so you know people clipping their nails on the uh, flights and horrible you know, and all kinds of just nasty stuff you know I mean people the bad behavior that I've seen on flights is ridiculous but I do think I think I have slipped my my shoes off um a few times and just crossed my feet like you said kept them under the you know the seat Um, but, uh, generally speaking, I, I guess I don't really do that that much. I usually just wear really comfortable shoes so I don't have to. Yeah. To I wear comfy yeah. shoes too, but then like sometimes your feet get hot or like it's just uncomfortable for some reason. And I just like take my shoes off, but obviously not like if I knew my feet smelled bad or something, but thankfully they don't stink. And then I just will <laughs> slip my feet off, slip my shoes off sometimes, but I definitely don't really do that anymore. I think when I was younger, like when I was a kid, I would do it more often because I just really hated the sensory feeling of like wearing shoes but yeah. as i've gotten older i'm kind of over it so I, i'm okay with that but um yeah yeah all right well i think we had good good uh we we have a good list i think yeah yeah well tell us listeners if you've ever been on a flight let us know what your flight essentials are if you haven't then let us know what your travel essentials are um leave a comment down below on our website a to z english podcast.com shoot us an email at a to z english podcast at gmail.com or join our whatsapp or wechat group and we will see you guys next time bye 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 bye